building a school community in public, should you go free or paid? So I've started this challenge for myself and building a school community from scratch. And here is where we are in the challenge. And so far we are at ground zero, right? So we are starting from fresh. Now in, perhaps you can see my screen as well. I had a free community before and I decided to shut that down. And here's the free versus paid argument. The thing is that I had some people in the free, but the problem with a free community, even if you plan to have it as an upsell to your paid, is that unfortunately it will be people that are not really interested in buying stuff, really. They are just there poking around, it's free, there is no risk, there is no involvement. And honestly, when I've looked around at other free communities as well on school, that's the same problem as well. Like they might be like ultra high and big in numbers, but the creators are not really putting that much emphasis on the free community anyway. It serves as a purpose, which is to funnel people to the paid one. But I decided to shut mine down just because of that reason that I won't be able to put all of my energy, my attention and making the best possible community for people who are interested in growing communities, audience growth and becoming better at self-improvement. So I am going to focus everything on the paid community, which will be a much slower start. And another thing that I realized as well is that most people will struggle with getting traffic and audience growth, especially if you're starting from zero. I have not done some huge keyword research or going into thumbnail design or stuff like that for my videos, but I have been publishing quite actively for the last week or so, two weeks, three weeks. And as you can see, the views are just like horrible. And that's okay. We all start from somewhere. I will try some experiments though, because I recently saw a video where new channels get a growth spurt, meaning that the YouTube algorithm for some reason, if it is a brand new channel, you have zero videos and you put a new one on it, that it needs to push and try just like the TikTok algorithm. It favors new creators because if creators get a big boost on their first or second video, what happens? Well, they get motivated. They get a dopamine hit like, oh, wow, this is cool. This is awesome. And they start to create more and more and more and more and more, which feeds the actual platform, if it's TikTok or YouTube, with more content for the audience. People stick there, stick there longer and they make more money. So that is something I would try with almost like a ghost prop on another channel. I would do a, a well-researched video with intro and thumbnail design and everything, I will just drop it on a, on a nameless channel and we will see how it goes. That will be interesting. If nothing really happens, then I will continue. And another point that I thought about and discovered is that most people who will try to do this school community just as I am, a course portal or something like that for yourself, which is honestly, I, th I see the future is heading that way. So you should definitely get into it now. But people will struggle with audience growth. I am struggling and I'm figuring it out. And once I crack the code, then I think that would be a much valuable skill that people will be happy to learn from, right? And when it comes to content creation, I had a big revelation. And it's actually just like a, a smack in the face. Like, okay, so this is why I'm not really growing. Because I'm sitting at like 500 posts or something like that on Twitter. And maybe I have 50 videos or something like that on my YouTube channel. And here's the thing. Like those that actually have an audience and grow, let's take, uh, there was one Twitter account which has 8,000 followers and they grew from nothing to 8,000 followers in one year. It took them one year of active engagement. And I looked how many tweets they had and how many posts, 40,000. Another a big guy I am following as well, JK Molina, shout out to him. He has 50,000 and that is tweets, that's actual content that they produce and push out whether that's engagement, engaging with someone else, or just posting it themselves. 50,000, bro, and I have 500. So if you are in the same position, don't think that, oh, why is this not working for me? I'm not growing, blah, blah, blah. Have you even actually done the work? No, you haven't. Let's be honest here. And just to prove the point on YouTube as well. So let's look at my channel. So I have 60 videos over the course of like one or two years. On and off. I haven't been focused on this at all. Now I will. I have like 60 videos and 1K subscribers. Cool. 
But let's look at someone like Max Person. I'm like, okay, he has 50k followers. Like, come on, like 537 videos. So you look at the videos and this entire page here, this guy, it seems like this guy blew up from nowhere, right? He has over 500 videos together from two years ago until now. Let's look at another example, Hamza. 2 million followers. You're like, okay, cool. Bro, he has 1,000 videos published. Plus, he's grinding and grinding and publishing and grinding and learning and doing the work and grinding and more. Let's look at Dan Ko. He seems to be a little bit of an anomaly and seems to do things well. He has 600k subscribers with 150 videos, and that is very, very, very good. Which means that his, the quality of his videos is probably better, more thought out, which they are. Because I know that he's producing videos from first writing a newsletter, which organizes his thoughts. And then it bleeds over to video content, and then it bleeds over to content on social media. Uh, and that is interesting as well. So there's a ton of different approaches of how to play the YouTube game. But it's very apparent to me that one works need to be put down. And just like publishing one video here, one with video there, not actually getting into the flow and doing this daily, every single day, thinking about it. Another revelation I had with YouTube is that it takes so much more time and effort. It's an entirely different ball game from socials like X or LinkedIn. On X, you can just like write some content and you're done. For YouTube, I watched some videos where one video was 30 minutes just breaking down how to create thumbnails. And that thumbnails is all about the psychology about the thumbnail. That's what makes it click worth it. Not really what you paste on it or the types of colors you're using. It's the psychology behind the click. And then you have an entire different rabbit hole to go down on, okay, psychology and getting people interested and getting engagement right. And that's just like one part of it. And then you have the title. The third part is the introduction, just like the first 10 to 15 seconds to capture engagement, capture an audience interest, get them invested into the video, the story, having a curiosity gap. YouTube is an entirely different ball game. Now I will be growing both. I will crack the code on YouTube. That's a promise for myself and my future self. And I will also do the written part of the social media, mainly X for me, because LinkedIn, I think is bullshit. I will not do it. It does. It's not for me. I think it's fake. But Twitter, you can actually say what's on your mind and you can actually have a nice funnel there as well and just bringing insights and value to people. So that's what I've been doing so far, crafting the message for my brand, what I will be talking about, and just to share really quickly what this channel will be about for anyone that is interested will be. So this will be for the flow creator because my community is about flow, the flow academy it's called, and it will be about implementing easy systems for you to get into flow, which means that you are consistent with content creation, with your habits, with your routines, and getting into a flow state. This is the things I've solved for myself, and I believe I can help out. Audience growth, I am learning right now. And once I crack the code on X and YouTube, then I will have a very high in-demand skill that people really, really want to know. And I get it. I mean, uh, attention is the new lifeblood of this entire century. This is the digital economy, the digital creator economy. So anyone, every business in the world needs to be able to grow an audience. So this is a key skill to learn, no matter if it's SEO, if it's on Google or if it's on X or if it's a social media or YouTube, it's key. And then community creation, because I've been a community manager for over a year now for a paid course. I'm creating my own as well. So there's a lot that goes into managing a community, the engagement, seeing red flags, having a low churn rate, actually bringing value and outcome to everyone that is subscribed to this community. So community is not that easy, to be honest, as well. It's just like we have a community, have fun. No, there's a lot that goes into a community and actually managing people. So this is what this channel will be about if anyone is interested. And I will make sure to flesh this out and actually portray these three key pillars for me. So everyone is on board on what they get here. All right, no fancy video editing or stuff like that. So until next time, stay tuned and we'll see how the progress goes.